hello friends my name is Vijay and welcome to my youtube channel hello helper and friends today I'm going to show you how to use awesome screenshot in this tutorial I will guide you step by step all the tools which offering by awesome screenshot so keep watching it will help you so friends here I'm going to open first of all my Google Chrome browser so you can see this is my Google Chrome browser and uh, first of all I'm going to open this Google Chrome into my private window so this is my private window and here I'm going to click on this awesome screenshot icon which is available over here with the camera icon just click over here and you will see these different different options are available so first of all I'm going to open a sample website so for example this is the website and here what I will do simply tag the screenshot of the website and share with my friend and if maybe you have any developer who is working with you you can easily send this uh, screenshot to them so keep watching so friend here you can see this is the icon so what I will do simple click over here and here first of all you can see capture visible part of the page for example if I click over here the only image which visible into the desktop it will capture by this extension here I'm going to again open the website and now here click and capture after the countdown whenever you click here after three seconds it will capture the screen of your browser so you can see here this is captured by this extension and now I'm going to show you the another thing this is the selected area capture selected area for example I just want to take the screenshot of this thumbnail so simply I'm going to select this thumbnail and going to click on this capture button so you will see this is the selected area of the page I have done very easy way to do these things okay so here I'm going to show you the another option so this is the entire page if I click here so this extension will scroll complete website and you will see this is the full page capture image you can see over here okay so this is the fourth option and now you can see select a local image for example if you have taken already screenshot of any image or something if you have you can simply click here and for example I'm going to upload uh, this image so you can see this image right now I am uploaded into this extension if uh, I want to remark something then you can do very easily from this tool okay so this is the upload section where you can easily upload any picture and now I'm going to show you another options and here capture desktop if you want to take the desktop capturing then you can do very easily for example when I click over there it is asking me for uh, your entire screen or capture application if I click the entire screen and here just click on this share button so this extension here you can capture complete you can see over here this is captured by this extension with a complete window of that you can see this is the complete windows capture over here okay so now I'm going to sh show you the another thing for example if you want to screen record here you can see this is screen record so I'm going to take a sample screen record for example here you can see this option whenever you click over here this will give you the some option like desktop and tab if you click over the tab then layout will convert into the tab mode so right now I have desktop that's why I'm click over here and count down three seconds here you can increase the seconds for example I'm going to add 10 seconds and if you uh, added your mic or something then you can click over here so I'm going to allow so whenever I will click over here it will ask me count down for 10 seconds for here 
I'm going to click entire screen and share so you can see this is the recording video this is the sample recording video and here I'm going to click something so we'll get the perfect idea video is recording or not so this is the sample video and right now I'm going to click over this stop sharing so we can see it is recorded or not so friend you can see this this video is recorded right now I'm going to play this video and check it out it is working or not yeah video is recording or not so this is the sample video and right now I'm going to click over this stop sharing so we can see it is recorded or not so friend this is the sample video you can see I have recorded by this awesome screenshot extension I'm going to delete this one and now I'm going to take uh, my recordings if I click over here so you can see these options are available here which recorded last time okay so here you can delete this one or if you want to do you can easily select over here okay so here now I'm going to show you the another thing show you the another option for example right now I'm going to take the complete screenshot of the page so you can see this is captured now for example if you are a web designer or web developer and you want to share your screenshot to the developer so he can understand what changes you want for example I want to change the name so here I can easily remark this thing for example I can change away so I can add the message here this text to you can easily add please change the name for example so you can add over here okay second thing what things you can do over here for example if you want to resize the screen so you can do very easily over here and this is the crop section if you want to crop something you can do very easily okay so I'm going to click this cancel button and this is the pane so if you want to highlight something you can simply click over here so it will highlight over there okay if you want to make box like this you can easily select the circle and rectangle over here if you want to change color simply click over there so you can see color will change and if you want to add circle for example I'm going to add circle on this logo so like this you can add over here okay this is the arrow if you want to notify something so what you will do simply click over here and you can notify very easily for example if you want to put this logo over here so you can easily notify with the arrow and second thing is that this is the line part if you want to draw any line over there so what you will do simply click and you can draw a line like this okay and this type of line you can make into this okay so like this you can use the line into your screenshot and this is the arrow for example if you are to notify something you can easily create this arrow and this is the another arrow like this you can change it very easily for example if you don't have any space then you can use this arrow as per your requirement and this is the a tax button or icon just click over here and here you can add text if you want to change color so what you will do simply click over here and change the color this is very easy extension where you can take the screenshot and share with your friends okay if you want to change fonts simply select this text object and change the font which you want to add over there okay 
this is the size if you want to add size easily you can change over here this is the fill color for example if I want to add fill color like yellow so you can see this is the fill color and this is the undo for example if you want to do undo so this will work for you and this is the clear part if you want to clear all the edits or changes you can simply just click here so all the changes will be gone okay so this is the way where you can easily zoom in zoom out this is screenshot if you are uh, all the work will done simply click on this done button and here you can download this edits or you can convert this edit into PDF and if you want to print something then you can just click over here so if your printer will attach with your system then you will get the print okay so friend this is the tutorial if you are a web designer or developer then this will help you very much and I hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe our YouTube channel and stay with us so every week I'm uploading this type of tutorial that will help you and keep watching and stay tuned with me if you have any query or question you can comment me below so i will give you the answer thank you for watching and stay tuned with me